Hello guys, on this week's Creators Tips, Don't Be Someone 101 is going to teach and recommend you on one of the best ways to teach students online. We understand that due to the coronavirus pandemic in the world, some of the schools are shut down, some of the companies are shut down. We cannot meet due to the fact that there is coronavirus everywhere. So our employers are asking us to use any method or any platform to teach students online. Now, some of the directors of the schools, some of the company directors are asking us to hold meeting sessions online. And some of us have problems or don't, do not know how to start with or where to start with. Now, you are at the right place and at the right time. I'm going to recommend Google Calendar as one of the best and simplest platforms for all of us to use in teaching students online in three minutes. So, this is how you are going to use Google Calendar in teaching students in three minutes so let's start with the first point the first point is you open your Google app like this and then secondly you go to the top right hand corner you click on this app and then you search on calendars double click on calendars double click on calendars you are going to see this actually today is uh, Sunday the 15th you click double click again on this on top of this and then you give your your meeting a title let's say calendar calendar meeting let's say calendar meeting we are not done with this now we are going to look at when do you want your meeting sessions to hold let's say you want your meeting to start for me i want my meeting to start from 8 8 30 pm pm i'm going to say 8 set my time on 8 0 0 8 pm until uh let's say 9 p.m okay let's say one hour today is august the 15 2021 and my time starts my meeting starts from 8 p.m to 9 p.m which is an hour we are not done with that and then you come just scroll down right down you will see add google meeting video conference you, you click on this and then you copy the link actually you can send the link to your students to the your meetings companies you send to whatsapp uh, line messenger facebook wherever you, you you prefer to and then you click on top of here to get your meeting started you start there you and then you join click join now the link you with me i'm going to use line to send to my students then you you, you copy you have copied you paste here on their line group and then you send to them now when they receive this they are going to come online when they come online as you can see we are waiting for the students maybe the students are going to join although we don't have a class today sorry students we are, i'm very sorry i'm just doing a youtube <laughs> video actually we don't have a class today so anyway let's expect since they are good students maybe they will come normally the students are supposed to have email yeah one of the students we have tanya Lok is here tanya Lok, welcome hello see look at my students are coming online although we don't have a class today students i'm very sorry because we don't have a class but i'm doing a youtube video thank you all for joining Tanya Lock, how are you everybody how are you today so as you can see students are joining my class already because they have uh, their email addresses the school created them actually the school created their email addresses there so they can just join the classes when you send them the link look at it they are coming in their numbers Good students from Matarum. This is Matarum 6 slash 1 students. Very beautiful students. Now, if I want to teach anything, you go right in the middle of this place to present anything. You click here and then you go to the second option which says you can actually use the first one. You are entire screen, a window, a tape, a tap, and then you click on this. I normally like to use the second one and then you choose what you want to present and then you project on your projector like this. This is what you are seeing on my projector. You go now to see the actual faces of the students. You click it ignore. Now you see on the top right hand corner, my students are here, and then here this is my lesson. So if I want to, the students are actually seeing. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Supasa, Supasa, are you seeing me? Tanya Lok, how are you? Paneda, how are you? Good afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, thank you all for joining today we don't have a class but thank you for joining because i'm doing my youtube channel videos thank you all so i'm trying to teach on how to use google classroom or calendar in teaching students online okay can you open your videos please so that my viewers can see your faces please
Can you open your camera? Okay. So if you want to actually uh, mute yourself from you, you are talking to somebody or maybe you are answering a call and you don't want students to hear what you are saying, you actually click on this place. You mute yourself or you unmute. If you want to send anything like if you want to listen to or translate what the students are they are saying people because in thailand most of the students are talking in thai as you can see my translation is going on hello can you speak thai can you speak thai you see the translations are coming out yes so you see the translations when she says sabayadi it's actually translating immediately okay now you can, yes open everybody, everybody your cameras please so when i want to type anything what are you doing today what are you doing today i go to the comment section and i type what are you doing today the students will see whatever i am writing and they can respond look at my beautiful students from material six last one hello can you see me you cannot see me Okay, let me open my video. You open actually open your video here if you want them to see you. As you can see, my video will open in one minute, in one second. Why is my video not opening? I don't know why. If the internet is not okay. Okay. So guys, this is how you use Google Calendar to teach students online. The students can respond to you. You can send them text. They can see what you are projecting on your board. So to actually go to the second shift you can whatever you are teaching here yes you can go here yes you present here you present like this the students will be seen hello students are you seeing my screen can yes. you see my screen what can you see on my screen here what right. can you see here right, right. okay here Clean what can you see Clean Clean up. Up. good and then next what can you see here what can you see Say good morning. And then this one says, say, say, good say goodbye. goodbye. Very good. So this is how you use Google Calendar to teach your students. I hope this video has helped you a lot. If you, this video has helped you a lot, please just give the video a thumbs up, a comment, a share button. Click on the subscription button below, the comment section, whatever you have. If you have questions, you have any comment, encourage me right on the comment section like share and subscribe until then thank you so much until then see you in my next